Hello there guys, I am Chris and I have this channel, so I wanted to make some SAM broadcaster tutorials just to teach you guys some SAM because I know there's quite a lot of people who do not necessarily understand it or they could do with some assistance in general DJing as such, so I wanted to make some tutorials. So this one I'm just going to start off with an overview, if you want some more in depth ones just check the playlist and I'm going to keep making them. So. This is how I have mine set up. As you can see, I could have a lot more, but I don't need any more, so I just have this. So, here is your playlist. The playlist is where all your music is. Remember this. Uh, to add music, you want to hit Add Files to Category, and then it will add it. To remove, you can do that, or you can just right-click and uh, remove, remove from all. So, that's pretty simple. Your deck is your two decks. You have two because then you can do mixing in between. Um, which is simple enough, I'm not really going to go over that too much, although I will give you a quick example. Your voice effects is, um, you, what, you probably want to have this on and then you just want to, when you want to speak, you want to go hello there and uh, that's how you do that because you lock talk, otherwise you're holding and it isn't really, it can get a bit annoying if you're talking for 20 seconds or more. So that's that, and it's pretty simple. Anyway, so on to the other parts. Manual crossfade, I will demonstrate when I demonstrate the music. Encoders is what who like what radio you are connecting to. Uh, to add a radio, you click the little plus, and you go MP3 and MP3 Pro, usually. Then you want to just select what format it should say it on your radio panel whoever whatever radio you were on if it's your own radio when you bought it you should have chosen a format and then you want to select high quality of course and then you, when you go into your server details your IP is the IP on your server your port so as an example um, radio dot radio dot radio um, or it could be that or it could be a number IP either or your port is um, the is another way of having it. So, as an example, this could be 8080, it could be 8880, or something like that. It can even be like 6677 or something. Um, but usually, this is just an extra form of security. Plus, it's a way of having hosts have more people on their network, kind of. Your password is the password on your panel. Uh, don't worry, you can give this to people and you can change it. Um, but this is just for DJs so they can connect. Your station name is the DJ. So if you're called DJ Chrissy, uh, which you're probably not highly undoubt highly doubtful, um, then that's what that's going to be. It's going to say DJ Chrissy. If you're called DJ Waza Loza or whatever, then that's what your DJ name is going to come up. And usually this will be in your DJ. Your genre, um, usually we just leave this empty. Your website URL, you want to just put this as whatever you were DJing to, on. Combine you want to leave, this you want to leave, and this you want to leave. Stream archive, that's only if you want to save the stream, which a lot of people do do, and then they can replay them. And that's your encoders. Statistic relays works exactly the same in that you just select shoutcast, and then you add your details in there. The graph just feeds from that. And um, that's that, that's all there really is. Um, if there is any other issues, then feel free to comment down below or private message me and I'll hopefully help you out. So I'm just going to quickly give a little demonstration of two songs. So I'm just going to use This Is Love and um, Talisa Young. And uh, so all you want to do is you just want to have one loaded and at the end and it will do it automatically for you. But a lot of songs might not have a fade, like that one so did. Um, so I'm just going to choose two more and uh, I'll demonstrate again with the manual crossfade. It's a lot more efficient and it sounds a lot better when you were DJing. So that comes to the end of our tutorial. 
Um, if there's anything else, then feel free to comment. Make sure you take check out the others, because I don't want you commenting and not check the others, although I will give you a URL. Um, if you're wondering what desktop BNC is, it's just a different one. Say if you want one for radio, one for just general, you know, DJ and playlists, then that's that. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, check out the other playlists, and um, I will see you guys in my next videos. Adios.